how to make a top up receipt. In Self Smart POS, we have a very smart way of creating a top up receipt. Let's say you are in the store alone and customer comes in and they want to pay a bill and you're busy with one customer selling a phone and another customer comes in, hey, I want to pay my boost mobile bill. Simply take your mouse to the payment, click on top up, ask the phone number, hit enter. If that customer been in the store, history comes up and which is very nice. Now you don't have, have to make sure with the customer, hey, what's your number again? History is here. You don't have to do anything. Enter, enter. System will bring up the last bill they paid in the store. So in this case, that customer will pay $50 last time. So this time, of course, we'll ask, hey, how much you paid? And if the customer says $50, it's already there. You can simply click on make payment and save receipt. And what it does now, it will print out the receipt and send the customer text message saying, hey, thank you for paying your bill at Uncle Wireless or in this case, Cellsmart. Uh, wireless and your $50 bill would be posted soon. Now you can go back to the transition that you was doing like selling phones and things like this. What you notice here, this tab turns red. It wasn't red before. When it's red, it means it's telling you, hey, you create one receipt, but you haven't made that payment. If you put your mouse on the tab, it will say right here, top up tab is red, showing you one right here telling you that there's a one payment pending click on it it will give you a list of the pending payments so in case in this case we have only one if you have more than one it would come more than one means while 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 you're doing a transition more customer comes in you can just create the receipt let them go on their way they get the text message they get the nice looking receipt and now you get chance you can just simply go to your website ebay website or if you have a little machine to pay the bill pay the bill from there you have the phone number you have the carrier you have the amount when you're done paying it simple write it on done or I always prefer to write it down the transaction ID after paying the transaction ID we get that's always good to write it down simple mobile h2o always write down the pin so in case something happened customer come back again you have a pin in history you can always go back right here and put any date and get all the pin numbers with all the phone numbers very easily thanks for watching sell smart POS video